Today I'm talking about Microsoft Azure Sentinel and there will be more videos. So I plan on putting more videos in the next few weeks, but I'm not sure that will there be a two weeks a video um, or maybe two videos a week. It depends. So subscribe my channel because uh, I'll be going more and more into the details of Sentinel starting from high level what the product is and then what are the capabilities of the product and there will be some how to's and deep dive as well as we go on so before jumping into the product itself let's understand um, the why because that's important because it's not something you have the tool and you want to turn it on but basically the the value here is how you can leverage the capabilities within sentinel to improve and protect your services tenant different services in the cloud and especially when i say cloud these days because of lockdown and covid 19 companies are pushed and their employees now working from home so it's kind of a digital workplace but again uh there are so many uh areas uh, when um, they can be easily ignored so when your people and employees are working from home so there could be so many scenarios where there are the chances for the data leakage password leakage uh, account compromise phishing emails so those are things are on rise which is a cyber threat these days in the last past uh, four or six weeks and eight weeks so that's on increase so what we'll look into that and that's why if you have azure subscription uh, if you're running your digital workplace using microsoft office 365 and even if you have your on-premises application we'll look into that what sentinel is capable of but before we go into that uh let's say um how does it work what this product is all about so uh, basically, it is a cloud native security information and event manager, which is a SIEM. And so it's a SIEM platform and it uses uh, uh, built in AI, which can help you analyze large volumes of data across your enterprise, not just 365, and which is fast and saves money and costs. We'll look into that. And basically, Azure Sentinel. Uh, collects and aggregate the data from all sources which includes uh, users uh, the applications servers devices and they can be anywhere maybe in cloud on premises hybrid environment so and letting you you know uh, the reason and covering over millions of records in a few seconds because that's the beauty of cloud and it has built-in connectors which can easily bring on board uh, security select uh, solutions we'll look into that what are those uh, features available um yeah and then when you want to use it you definitely need an azure subscription for that there are some free accounts and but for your production definitely you want to have that and it can exist with your existing tools and through rest api through connectors and all that so and pretty much most of the stuff is built in which is not built in you can go to github and you can find those stuff so in this episode i will cover the high level what this product is capable of based on some scenarios but going forward uh, we'll look into uh, different uh, pieces within the product like uh, threat hunting like uh, how to configure or use those connectors uh, how to make and automate some of this incident management in azure sentinel so if you subscribe my channel you'll be seeing all those so let's get started so if you look at the here at uh, the screen these are your end user the people on the road mobile devices on-premise data partners so basically because of the cloud your firewall your data center is not your protection layer 
because today everyone is in the cloud and when you move to the cloud your mobile workforce is there and then your basically uh, your identity so compared with your on-prem uh, where you need to either VPN or you need to log into the corporate network now as soon as you go to the cloud you are not really hitting those so that's kind of a totally different ball game here your identity is, is in the cloud and regardless which size of the organization you are pretty much you have all the same challenge because your people uh, your application all let's say in this case maybe SaaS based uh, we talk about IoT, anything, so it's all cloud related and that's why you need um, um, artificial intelligence enabled uh, security solutions. So what happens, uh, the security operation mission is to protect organization information and assets. Uh, which is becoming increasingly difficult because as I said before of uh, the reason the cloud model because attack techniques and frequencies and complexities are also evolving at the same time again because of the cloud the way the attack used to be is totally different because attack are also leveraging cloud capabilities uh, so that's uh, advancement so that's why you need a uh, uh, a smart AI machine learning enables solution, SOC solution, SOC product to defend and protect against those kind of attacks. So if there is a normal known anomaly or an attack is there, it should just block itself. So that's the, what's the changes. So traditional SOC versus the new AI machine enabled SOC. So threat, continues your attacks are increasing on the rise if you look at the security reports now we have iot it needs to be protected so and also not only that but you keep adding those then sometimes there's a lot of maybe it's false positive there's alert fatigue because if you're getting so many alerts you're hammered with alerts your sock then also it's a counterproductive so usually in any enterprise you have uh, more than one product uh, for those uh, monitoring and so much volume is coming so much noise is coming so very difficult to manage and you have different layers and dashboards to manage endpoint security has a different dashboard versus the servers is different your identity monitoring you're using something else so three four places you have to look into that and honestly, if you do not have everything in one place, you cannot really track and trail that, you know. So if you have an attack, then you know, okay, you want to see this attack in the cloud. Now what happened to that endpoint or desktop, for example, for two, three different places, maybe an email. So it's become really challenging uh, to uh, track that attack. So that's why, you know, so many products can also be a disconnection there. There is no connection. Uh, so that's another thing. So with that said, if you need, then you need a huge number of people. But again, there's a, already a shortage of uh, IT uh, security analysts, I would say, to meet the requirement of this uh, market, to meet the requirement of the skill set. So that's being said, you know, in this scenario, investigation is complex and time consuming. And every second matters in security operations. So current solutions are not architected for today's demand, basically. And your legacy on-prem seem require powerful hardware, extensive maintenance, and they're expensive because of the storage. If you want to keep the storage retained for 30 days, but if your requirement to meet the compliance, if you need to keep it for a year, for example, and if you have two, three, four hundred servers, five, ten thousand employees and devices. So do the math. So you need easily terab terabytes of storage, then you have to manage that storage. So it's a very costly uh, thing. And then you have to patch and manage and everything. So this is where it's counterproductive. So now the cloud can help and we'll look into that how Sentinel 
is going to help your security operations team with this AI and machine learning uh, capabilities because uh, it simplifies everything and also with harnessing the power of the cloud, right? So we'll look into that. And how does the AI and machine learning model works? So basically Azure Sentinel is a cloud native theme for your intelligent security analytics for the enterprise. And um, this is what it comes with. So, and the way it's work, of course, pretty much every product is collect, detect, and then uh, investigate in response. So this is what you can do. And most of the stuff, if you want, you can do automated, you can do threat hunting and all that stuff. We'll look into that. But that's the whole idea behind uh, or uh, the understanding how this product work. And good thing is that if you have an Office 365, data ingestion is free. So there's no reason why not to use this. If you have Office 365, ingest the data in Azure Sentinel through the connectors, pretty damn easy. And then you start seeing that meaningful data and you can really make it automated action-based uh, uh, incident. So that's a slide from Microsoft, how they do it, how much money they invest and the trillions of signals, uh, you know, they have. So this is uh, their, they not only collect the data and do the AI and machine learning from your enterprise, from your tenant and subscription, but also coming from Azure intelligence itself. So you will see those uh, automated uh, rules and templates available uh, which uh, are automatically triggered and protect your services. So benefits, and this is the most important and significant thing you need to understand before using this as a tool. So if you're a decision maker, if you have a budget, so you got to compare that, uh, how you're going to leverage that and then security team should only be focusing on the uh, task incidents and all those they should not be worrying about the maintenance or downtime or outage or storage and everything so that's the beauty of the cloud you spin up it's work it's come it's kind of i can give you an example or maybe put it together security as a service you just turn it on you don't have to worry about any hardware you don't have to worry about any thing storage configuration let's say it's very simple and easy to let's say put the data from office 365 and it supports third-party integration it supports even syslog where you can pull the data so it's just there to not only cloud but also the on-prem uh, applications so basically it's a SaaS model of security where you do not have to worry about anything like that so i come from messaging background in the past i did a lot of messaging so in the past i did a lot of messaging and exchange server and used to build those dag and cluster databases now with going to office 365 this has changed and it's more working towards the productivity and digital workplace concept same thing in the security you don't have to do anything on premises you just spin it up and go from there because your identity the cloud identity is the thing which you need to protect so basically in a traditional model what we're looking here is um, hardware setup maintenance and the software setup so basically software needs to be patched you need to plan uh, something goes bad then you need to roll it back so that's the thing uh, maintenance is could be at the hardware level server level power outage any kind of maintenance because it's your in your data center in the hardware itself you have to upgrade the hardware every three years five year cause of maybe an operating system or something else so when you go to the cloud native seam which is sentinel you don't need to have any infrastructure cost you pay as you go and Office 365 data ingestion is free. So it's perfect if you have Office 365. But you can also bring third party through the API, which will look into that. And there are some available connectors there. 
and it's a flexible contract so there's no contract basically pay as you go as I said before so let's say, take a look um, how does it integrate with existing tools and data sources so here Azure Sentinel aggregates all the security data with built-in connectors as you can see on the screen Microsoft 365 has built-in connector Microsoft Azure however you can bring your other third-party data also for example uh, there are connectors available which I will show you in a moment how uh, for example F5 Palo Alto Networks Symantec Fortinet and many others and that's Azure Sentinel teams keep updating that you can find I believe Barracuda and couple more which I will show you in this uh, video so stay on and I will go through that so Azure Sentinel is based on Azure Monitor and um, it can ingest terabytes of terabytes and even petabytes of data and it's all cloud so you don't have really have to worry about so one good thing is that is an open and extended solution is github so you can customize it you can import it uh, the libraries from the github itself uh, you can customize so there are a lot of uh, cool stuff available you can directly just integrate it from your subscription and bring it uh, those uh, thing in your sentinel you can even bring your own machine learning model so that's uh, how it is you want to customize and uh, these uh, detection you can build your own machine learning models then you can bring your own models and you can be using graph api to integrate with your existing threat intelligence feed so you can be creative if you go on to github and you'll see a lot there are a lot of resources all right let's see what's there in artificial intelligence there you go so analyze and detect threats quickly with ai on your side so basically security analysts faces a huge burden of triage as they are not only have to shift through a sea of different alerts because they're looking at a lot of alerts but we also have to correlate uh, different products manually you use traditional correlation engines so i give an example here so if there's a phishing attack happens so your phishing attacks the way you want to troubleshoot it is uh, if traditionally you're gonna go look for scan the email headers analyze the headers and search those uh, logs in your mail server then uh, you gotta be making sure okay that's one way of doing it then you need to be then looking at what if the system is compromised or not then you you do some analysis against that user and then second thing you will be going to analyze that the system is not infected so you may be then go and track that machine for that user or if it's got more than one devices make sure those are scanned there is no uh, virus or trojan or malware anything in that machine so those are two things but uh, and there can be even more uh, because the user logged on to the server but we, i'm talking about just a basic thing so it's still right right out of the bat you have to troubleshoot more than one thing so that's the one of the scenario this could be different right uh so that's two different places you have to do that so if this thing happens then you want to protect in the future because if the email was phishing email and we'll look into that how you can avoid that because the user account is compromised or not and if it's then we'll look into that so so i'm giving a different areas where uh manually you have to go and track basically analysts will be doing it manually and then today the user let's say is coming in from the cloud if you have a hybrid cloud then you have to do a different analysis look into those logs figure it out and all that stuff so this is basically can help you reduce those noise and then when you want to investigate those threats so there's a threat hunting model as you can see on the screen 
you can visualize the attack and take quick quick actions in the same dashboard you can be proactive of suspicious activities let's say if you see uh, somebody's trying to log in to disable account from ip those kind of attack are there and then you can take the action based on that you can pull those report you can do the threat hunting against that so it has capabilities you can then leverage or do some more advanced level using uh, uh, python or jupyter and then um, you can bring your own uh, uh, thing you can customize it uh, your way of doing it in microsoft azure sentinel which can really take your uh, sex cop uh, security operation to the next level so you can learn or run different queries now it comes to the automation piece of it so what we have talked about is once you're done with that you're as an analyst or your security operation working on that so some of the tasks where you just want to take automated action so you can be proactive so you don't want to be reactive and waited so for example you can create some uh, logic apps and uh, those logic apps you can configure them which can send you an email or it can even be configured to take uh, some actions you can even integrate those uh, azure logic apps and send email to your service desk or maybe service now or different workflow so basically that is the capability using some playbooks And that being said, um, here, if you need more information, you go to the Azure Sentinel website. And what I'm going to do now, kind of like share my Azure Sentinel portal and give you a high level overview and share some of that uh, dashboard so you can have more understanding. So here is my tenant, the one I use for my personal use but it's a production tenant and you can see here on the dashboard one single dashboard it shows me the events the alert incidents and it's going to give me a history of the data for as far as I can go back and then I can select if you see it's changing so tell me what time today at 11 a.m. there were two alerts six office activity azure activity or not usage right and again so if i move here you see these things are moving so again were there any alert yes some azure activity 6 pm and these rules got triggered which i created so that's why there are some incidents and alerts created the usage is showing here we'll look into that what the usage is about office activity was there high at 2 p.m so the idea is that once you do that it's not necessary is high and low you're going to learn what's high is high for your environment so over the time of the next few weeks you're going to learn it so once you spin it up you want to see right right away it's going to take time and then you can see it um, and from there it has logs uh, there are incidents you can go to the each individual incident you can look into the workbooks uh, you can do the hunting notebooks data connectors I was talking to you so let's take a look uh, before I finish this video I will look into that what are the data connectors in the next video pretty much i'm going to be showing you more details on these data connectors uh, how to understand how to read them and um, you know uh, what's information there and what you can do this is really a good stuff but kind of give an idea here a lot of azure but i told you about third party so you have third party barracuda available checkpoint cisco sa citrix Cyber Arc, F5, Force Point. Even you can bring CASB data here. Uh, you can have Microsoft Defender, so you can your bring your endpoint data here. WebF Firewall, 
identity palo alto i, I was telling you before semantic cyber defense exchange and you can even bring syslog if your product is not listed here you can configure a server ingest the data through a syslog and all that stuff so that's being said this was high level overview of microsoft azure sentinel and in the next video i'll be putting more and more stuff around each and everything so we'll look into some time into different data connectors how to do it how to configure how to dig into that and look into the incidents the hunting different scenario because this is what it is based off like how in a different scenario what kind of attack um, will be there or scenarios available you want to protect against basically that what it is you can figure the connector but that's not it it's just the beginning once you connect the connector and from there onward you want to make sure how you want to leverage uh, the ai and machine learning tool and develop this seam and soar based on your requirement uh, thank you again uh, if you like this video subscribe it share it and i'll see you in my next video thank you